What we have here is our well, one of our sight boards. Okay, so there's nothing really overcomplicated with it. As you can see, it is well used. So we have got in here an RCD main switch and two breakers. Obviously, one of the breakers is not in use. It's just effectively a blank, a blank, a blank and it's ran off a 16 amp supply. And we've rigged up two metal clad sockets just so we've got a way of running means and extension leads out and all the rest of it. Keep the boiler on because I'll show you in a second. The boiler is a lovely installation. And then we'll bring you in a little bit closer. We'll go through the board, what it is, and then the plan for this house. So. Let's get this mounted up on the wall and get that in place and then we'll go through what they've got right now, how we're going to actually attach this to the system that they've got now while keeping that running for now. Okay, so board's now mounted up, it's all up in place. Now I've lowered the location of what I originally was gonna have it, I was gonna put it up. Because the new board is up here. No, hang on. The old board is up there. The new location for the board's gonna be around here somewhere. So I may need to drop this down again a little bit lower, but I just need to make it usable. So current setup, we've got a 16th edition board that's in place. So it's got one RCD that's controlling this side and we've got no RCD protection on all that. We've got one circuit, which is the upstairs lights, which is completely not safe at the minute. That's why it's all locked off. So for those of you who don't know what a lock off device is, this is basically it. Lock off kit, leave your tags on, and then obviously nobody can energize that. 